Hello again, my lovelies. I'm so excited to partner with Aldi today again in our Try and Tell Challenge. Today, we're gonna to be making one of our family's favorite go-to one-pot Italian dishes, and that is our Parmesan-crusted goat cheese pasta. One of the things I love about a one-pot meal is that really that pot, that pan, does most of the work for you. Well, not quite the grocery shopping work though. But I will say that I know many of you mamas are minding your family's budget, just like we are, most families are, and that's where Aldi comes in. I am doing, like I said, their try and tell challenge again. What that means is I get to shop at Aldi and compare their ingredients and prices to what I would buy at any other store. So we're gonna compare in both price and in taste. Just in looking at one of the ingredients for this recipe today, the national brand here cost me about $1.47 at the local grocery store. And when I went to Aldi, getting the same product in their brand, well, it ran 99 cents. And another ingredient we use in this recipe is broth. Today, I picked up organic vegetable broth from Aldi. This was just $1.79. And to be honest, when I compared it to Swanson's national brand at the grocery store, the organic vegetable broth was $2.99. So you can see how the savings just add up with each ingredient. This whole meal for my family is about $16. Making a home cooked meal for your family doesn't have to break the bank. And like this one, it can still be full of things that we love. I know my family does, things like goat cheese, peppers, pasta, so many good things. Another great thing when shopping at Aldi is you don't have to give up the way you currently shop. If you love organic products, they have a wide range of their own Simply Nature organic products. And they also have meats called Never Any. So they're not filled with preservatives and hormones and other additives. You can shop how you usually do. If you want gluten-free, you can still get it. Okay, so get your shopping list ready. Here's what you need for this delicious meal. A pound of Italian sausage. I did turkey this time. You can use any kind of Italian sausage you want. Goat cheese, between six and eight ounces. So I did two of these four ounce packages. Some baby spinach, you definitely don't need all of this. So if you have some on hand already, you just need a couple handfuls. Some peppers, a little bit of Parmesan cheese for the top. Again, this part I don't measure. I won't use all of this, but I am gonna sprinkle and kind of cover the top with Parmesan cheese. We are gonna use a couple of cups of broth and a box of pasta. Any pasta will do. First, we are going to start with the peppers because they take the longest. We're gonna go ahead and roast our peppers. It brings out the natural sweetness and just adds a lot of flavor. Slice them in half, remove the stems and seeds, and put them on a sheet of aluminum foil. We're gonna broil them in the oven for about 20 minutes. So just put them in there skin side up. This way, while we're using aluminum foil, when we're all done, we can just toss it all in the trash. No more dishes to wash. So while those are cooking, let's go ahead and brown our ground turkey or whatever kind of sausage you're using. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the pot that I'm using for the entire meal and brown it up right in there. Add whatever seasonings you like. I usually add a little bit of garlic and some Italian seasoning. When the peppers are done roasting, we're gonna pull them out of the oven, slide the skin off and toss the peppers themselves without the skin into the blender. This we're just going to blend up, giving it a nice, smooth, creamy texture, and that's going into the pot of our browned ground sausage. We're also gonna add the box of pasta into the pot with the brown meat and the peppers, as well as about two to three cups of your broth, whatever broth you're using. I usually start with two cups and then I'll add some if necessary. We definitely want the pasta cooked, so let it go for about five to 10 minutes. Once the pasta is done, go ahead and turn the heat up on the stove. We're gonna start by adding the goat cheese and stirring it in, letting it melt and mix with everything else that's in the pot. Then go ahead and add a couple handfuls of spinach and just kind of rip it up a little bit so it's a little bit more in bite-sized pieces and stir it in. To make it even better, sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top and toss it right back in the oven for just a few minutes. Oh, yay! Okay, this looks so good. I'm going to dish some of it up. Being the chef, that means I am an honorary taste tester. I know I'm saving my family money, so it makes me feel even better about the meals that I make. I know there's so many organic ingredients in here, and I love that about it. And 
and it tastes amazing. Just like yummy. So when life gets hectic, a good comfort food recipe never disappoints, and that's how I feel about this one. In my opinion, there's just nothing better than sitting down with something your family loves and with the people that you love. If you do make this recipe or another masterpiece, taking the Aldi Try and Tell Challenge, post your pictures. I would love to see them. Use the hashtag FreshMommyCooks and the hashtag ILikeAldi. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna go sit down and eat right now. Guys, we'll see you next time. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready?